Hey, good afternoon. Uh, today is Friday, September uh, 17th. Um, getting close towards the end of the year pretty soon here for the holidays. But uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I have a, a recent client and actually I just closed one recently as well too with Zillow. Um, so you're probably thinking like, what exactly am I talking about? So Zillow, um, just like OfferPad and um, uh, I'm trying to think of another one here, Open Door. Uh, usually those are like the three key ones that have been buying homes uh, in the Tampa area, but all over the United States, um, mostly metropolitan areas is what they're looking for. Um, they do have a certain criteria as to what they're looking for, price points. You got to be, you got to kind of know what you're dealing with when you get in, when you get in bed with these people. So anyhow, close the condo. Um, that was a particular uh, client that didn't want to show the home, um, went through some, you know, calls of through investors to see what they would offer for his condo. Uh, it was a two, it was a three two in rear review um, price on that house. If we were to list it on the on the open market, and what I mean by that is through the MLS, probably would have sold somewhere about one hundred forty, maybe one hundred fifty around there. Um, but he didn't want to show the home. He was all worried about you know COVID, which is very respectfully, you know, I I, I could see that. Um, he has some uh, health issues as well, so you know want to avoid as uh, you know that as much as possible, and uh, you know elderly parents, you know, so just a whole combination of things, you know, that he didn't want to you know get into. So went through the route, um, submitted it home, submitted the home through you know through some other online e buyers such as Zillow. They made an offer. Uh, got the home sold was just under the market value of what it would sold on the on the open market. Um, obviously, for that is just a matter of convenience. So, circling back to here again uh, with Zillow, um, reached out to them because we actually work with Zillow as well and um, helping out a lot of the clients find a home. Um, so. This is going to be a very small percentage of the deals that that you know you may run into where you know people are going to sell to an e-buyer, but again, very uh, mindful as to what is in the details on the back end. You know, what are you dealing with? You know, obviously they're going to throw you an offer, but what's all the other uh, charges that they're going to charge you for selling the home for for convenience? So, wanted to share my screen here with you. Uh, this is what they offered for this house. They offer 525, decent offer. I'm not going to argue that. Um, but then once we start looking at here a little more in the detail side of things here, um, Zillow charges a convenience fee, 13%. 13% of that. So that's a lot of money. It says right here, just an explanation, provides hassle-free, certainty of sale. You can pick the day of your close, can be a 30 day close, 45 day close. I'm not sure if they'll go any further outside of that, maybe. But it's a lot of money. Um, it says covers the cost you see there of the home ownership, um, which is not necessarily true, you know, when, when they when they put in your taxes, utilities, and so forth, um, as well as a 2.4 uh, for future buyer buyer's agent commission, you know. It doesn't really matter. Still a lot of money, 13%. Their estimated closing cost there, this is what a seller and a buyer, no matter what, you got to pay closing costs. So their estimated is 7,000 uh, and change. But the catch on this one here that I went through the experience with the condo is that if Zillow's buying the home, likely the same thing with some of these other e-buyers, they want you to use their own title company. So they're keeping all this money in-house. So they're going to buy your home. They're going to buy a discount. Uh, they're going to do the, the title, the title cost as well. Um, home is still subject to inspection. This number here is not the final number. So once they go and do the inspection, they say, come back and say, Hey, we need X, X dollar amount for whatever repairs we need. This is not negotiable. This is not negotiable. Definitely not negotiable. If you have any regular transaction, you can shop it around, but it's going to be off maybe a few hundred bucks at most. Um, repairs, not really going to be able to negotiate because this is Zillow that's buying a house. So they're an investor. They're going to be very cut and dry. This is what we got. You can either take it or not. 
Um, agent compensation, they do not pay because they're the buyer, which is understandable. They're not going to pay it. Seller is responsible for paying the compensation. So in this one here, uh, the net is uh, just just uh, under four fifty. So seventy five thousand uh, dollar, you know, which is a lot of money for that. Um, so in this scenario for this client, you know, it's not the best deal. Zillow can always come back and say, hey, we'll 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 uh we'll off we'll offer you a little bit more. It all based on the house, um, what you put in. You know, they ask a few questions when you go to submit a property for sale. I have seen of lately because what they usually do is based on the price point. So whatever the purchase price is. So let's say if it's like the condo, the condo was a hundred, hundred um, uh, under the below market value of 140, 150, right? The service fee on that one was at uh, 1% for that one, right? Um, a few other homes I have submitted through Zillow to see what they would offer. Um, some of them came back at 3%. Um, another one was 5%, which I thought was astronomical. And then now this is 13%. So I think what they're doing is they're making adjustments for the markets, um, seeing that if there's a lot of activity that they're buying homes or getting receiving a lot more offers. I think this is a way to where they're trying to um, hit a home run because when Zillow buys these homes and it has nothing to do with the seller, you know, because they, they don't care at the end of the day, it's just, you know, they just want to get paid you know, from the sale and move on and, and go from there. But everybody has their own decision to make, you know, whether this is a good offer or not. Just me, based off of looking at the numbers, this is this would not be a good a good deal for the seller. Um, but for everyone else, you know, maybe it might work out for them. But um, what I was going to get, get back to is that, you know, with the uh, Zillow service charge that they're doing um, on, on some of these homes, um, because they don't make a lot of money when they go and sell these homes because that's what their intent is, is to buy it. And they're probably going to clean it up, do maybe do a little bit of paint and get it back on the market as quickly as possible. Um, they do work with a handful of, uh, of local brokerages here in the area. Um, same thing is just a, you know, cookie cutter business plan that they, you know, uh, repeat rents and, and, and uh, just over and over again in different markets. Um, but they're, what they're doing is they're tracking the numbers to see, okay, how much, and they're spending a lot of money in marketing, but they're trying to see how much, you know, how many homes they can get, you know, how many, uh, uh, offers they're putting out, um, you know, trying to track those numbers and see, you know, if it's a viable market and if there's a, a probably a large demand of homes, or if they're trying to make adjustments that they're not making any money, then this is the way that they're going to make up the fee because they want to have a competitive offer. Uh, that way people don't feel like they're lowballing them. And what they do is they just snake it in on the back end by doing this, because this, you know, that's going to be standard, you know, almost in, in majority of them, I'm sure I can run an estimate and it's probably gonna be very close to this um, for the closing cost. Repairs, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to hit you over the head on this unless it's, you know, physically can see there's a hole in the roof or you know, the roof's leaking. And even then Zillow is not going to get into something that's a full on project. Again, they want to be in and out on this project probably in, in 30 days or less. And what we call lipstick rehab and just be in and out. Um, but just wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, a lot of other agents may not probably touch on this subject um, because they don't like it. They don't like that Zillow is in the market, you know, buying homes. Zillow is uh, selling them leads. Um, basically their whole business of, uh, uh, either evolves around Zillow or they feel that Zillow is the bad guy. Um, this is just, this is a change in market. Um, you know, technology company is what Zillow is in, in essence. Um, they're a brokerage now. Uh, they have their own title. They have their own agents. Um, so, you know, it's something that, that you can't stop, that we can't stop. And uh, it's just that we got to deal with this. So, you know, we got to deal with the change, whether if we like it or not. It's just like that in anything in life. Um, a lot of things that I don't like, you know, but we got to get up next day, brush, our, brush off our shoulders and just, you know, get at it, get to work. Um, but just wanted to share this information with you guys. So that way you can be aware, you know, yeah, they are buying homes, but look at the back end, look at the numbers, um, you know, 
if you got a good agent, you know, run it by them, let them take a look at it. Um, because in reality, um, probably majority of people maybe buy one home, maybe two, maybe three, um, not like cars, you know, if it, if it was me, this would have been like cars. This probably would have been my 20th, 20th house. You know, I go through cars like crazy. Um, but that's me. I'm a car guy. Um, but, you know, just want to share this information out there with you. And if you got any questions, um, even if you didn't want to run something by me, I'd be more than happy to, you know, just sit down and take a look at it and tell you and give you my two cents on it. Um, but just wanted to share this with you guys. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.